Hey guys, it's Brad. Ciao. So we're still road tripping down here in Frosinone province and we have been to a, a town called Arce and we looked at a really neat property there. Check the other video. Uh, I'll try to put the little uh, window to get to that video here. Uh, so above Arce, even higher up the mountain, is a town called Roca de Arce or Rock of Arce. And it's an even smaller town, but there's a really neat palace apartment in that town that's 5,000 square feet, and they're only asking $190,000. Now, I get a lot of comments where people say, yeah, because no one wants to live there. Look, this place is an hour from Rome. People are killing themselves to buy ruins in Sicily out in the hinterlands. This place, you get on a train, you're in Rome, downtown, in just over an hour. It's amazing. Produce fresh produce. They make wine, they make cheese, they make meats here. Uh, 45 minutes to the beach. All these hilltop towns in Frosinone are great. Uh, I work with Alfano Real Estate uh, down here. My contact, Claudio, wonderful woman, uh, as I always say, speaks five languages fluently. You know she's smart. Uh, I am not a real estate agent. I am not trying to sell you guys anything. I like touring properties. I have my own gig here in Italy. Oli and I have been buying uh, palaces here in Tuscany, parts of palaces, I should say, renovating them at a very high standard. They're now online. We're renting them. Business is unbelievable. Uh, you can go to TuscanPalace.com and see what we've done. Uh, the website's brand new. Uh, hopefully, by the time you see it, it's completed. Uh, and it is really nice to be living here in Italy. I'll be doing more videos about retiring here. But in the meantime, uh, Alfano has a lot of great uh, properties on their website. That's why I contacted them. Go to alfanorealestate.com and check them out. Write Claudia, Claudia at alfanorealestate.com. Uh, she's their head international marketing person, and she'll take great care of you. Uh, so let's go see this great place. It's uh, four bedrooms. Uh, two baths, and it is going to be unbelievable. Look what I found. Wow, so you walk into this great atrium, and these columns were repurposed from Roman times. So they were 1,500-year-old columns when they used them 500 years ago in the construction of this palace. Look at that. I mean, talk about a piece of history. And they're like 22 feet tall. Wow. So the neat thing about this palace is it was built right up against the hillside and it gives you like a natural atrium feeling inside. Look up and see how the plants and the rocks and everything just comes together in such a dramatic backdrop. So those stairs go up to the main residence level, but Oli and I are gonna go in here on a mid-level and check out a room that the old owners had used. It's kind of like a crash pad almost. It was a large room with a little mini kitchen and a full bath. So let's go in and take a look at that. You know, I never get over how dramatic these places are. Look at that ceiling. Look at the width of the span in those arches and the thickness of the arch itself. It's gotta be three feet thick. When you're dealing with a property that has a base price, asking price, by the way, of 190,000 euros for 5,000 square feet or 500 square meters, you got a lot of money left over to make this into something special with some targeted remodeling. Unless you really like the 70s, because that's what all this stuff is from. That's the main street in Roca de Arche going up towards the town square. Again, another view of the thickness of those archways. Of course, they are supporting a whole palace up above us and a really neat chandelier. Very nice. A lot of light. That's a good one. And then there's also a full bath in here, which again, screams 1970s, maybe 60s but easy to deal with, and you're not ruining anything that's historical. There's a lot more attention these days than there was 50 years ago about using traditional materials and not mucking up a place with horrible interior design. 
So let's follow the wife out. There's a good look at the interior entryway atrium, the outdoor atrium, and then this is the view of the palace from the back side. Really nice. I love the continuity of the columns all the way through the third floor. But we're going to go up onto the first floor now, the main first floor, where you have bedrooms and an updated kitchen, living room, dining room, a beautiful terrace, and inside we go. So we come in through this door on the main level, and this is like an entry room. Actually pretty good size. Little telephone stand. Then you come into the kitchen itself. And I apologize, the electricity is not on in the palace right now. But the kitchen's a good size. Things tend to be a little smaller. It has a great sink and gas. Who likes to cook on electric? Gas stove. Now look at the woodwork on this door. These doors are hundreds of years old. They've only been repainted over time. So that's a nice feature. Now inside this first full bath, which has, by the way, a tub and a shower, which is kind of unique. Uh, this has obviously been redone in the not too distant past. I would say within the last 15 years, maybe 20, but a great size. And then off to the left here, we have like a uh, linen closet, storage room, cleaning supply room. Then we come back out, better look at those doors, nice. And if it was me, I would make this a straight up dining room with a nice big table. You'll be entertaining. Maybe a little bit of seating other than that. Nice floor, by the way. Again, not traditional floor, but very nice. And then the piece of resistance, a gigantic terrazza, terrace outside with the view of the whole countryside over towards the sea. Just behind those mountains again is the Tyrrhenian Sea. Now through the magic of video editing, I was able to come back in through the center door, which we had already passed. Now, this is set up as a bedroom right now, but with this incredible ceiling, I got to guess that this was supposed to be the living room, but it could be a king-size bedroom. Nice, nice details, nice chandelier. And of course, if you come out here, you have the same view, and to your left is that gigantic terrace. So now we're gonna follow Oli into the main bedroom wing of the house. Another great look at those old doors. Just history everywhere you look. Now these bedrooms are gigantic. I mean, by European standards. I don't know if you've ever stayed in an Airbnb in Europe where the whole room is taken up by a bed. There's not even a place to put your luggage. These are gigantic. And every room has a view. And this high up on the mountain, you're going to have nice breezes. So when you come out, there's a full bath across the hallway. Yep, it needs to be updated. Nope, you won't have any trouble getting that done. The floor is really cool. I really like the floor. Now they're basically identical bedroom, king bed, no problem. Same view. And remember, this whole apartment is only 190,000 euros asking price. Best look at the floor yet. Nice. So this is a gigantic living room couple doors. One leads up top to an unfinished area of the palace that belongs to this, so it comes with it, uh, but it would need to be redone. And then you come in here to a very large kitchen. Very large kitchen. Plenty of room to put in a dining table. Seat up to eight people in here. That's the original fireplace. A lot of meals got cooked in that. I mean, it's hundreds and hundreds of years old. 
But even more interesting to me is when you come through this door, and excuse again the fact there's no lighting on, but you'll get the idea. When you come in here, this is a bread oven from the original, original cooking room. Think how many loaves of bread that cooked over the last 500 years. And an interesting piece of line art that was on the wall that shows the atrium downstairs. One last great look at the oven, the bread oven. And then coming back into the kitchen again. We're gonna go out through this door. And there's a nice terrace out here. It needs to be cleaned up a bit. But that'd be nice for breakfast. Big fig tree over there. So Oli wanted to show us one more thing back inside. So we'll leave this outdoor little terrace. And inside the living room, there's two doorways. One goes upstairs to where there's more unfinished palace on the very top floor. And it also has like a terrace that they've been working on up there. But this door, but this door went down to what looked to me to be like a small chapel. It was pretty plain, but it had a little altar in it. Kind of interesting. So last but not least, guy, I'm backtracking here. This was in that original open atrium off the street. Now, that door lit up, leads out to the street. This could be a garage. I think it would make an awesome wine room, something like that. It has an old fireplace in it. Clean it up, throw in some terracotta flooring. I think it would be awesome. Awesome place to have people. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour of this amazing 5,000 square foot palace. We'll see you at the next tour. Ciao.